Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's an ornate tag topper box, so there's a little bow, little knot there that keeps it shut and it opens up at the top, finishes up four inches by two inches by one inch, so 10 centimeters by five by two and a half, and you can get three from a sheet of designer series paper. I'm using the gorgeous golden honey paper. It's free, it's free. Love free paper. So. 4 inches by 11 inches, 10 by 27 centimetres, hence why you're going to be able to get um, 3, because, you know, you can divide the length, and you have a 1 inch by 12 inch strip left. Okay, so on the long side, score it at 4, 5, 9, and 10 inches, which in metric is 10, 12 and a half, 22 and a half, and 25. We then turn it around and on the short side score it at one and three inches, which is two and a half and seven and a half centimetres. Oh, missed. I was trying to aim to get that down the side of the desk and hit the desk instead. Okay, so I'm going to burnish my score lines. I like this style of box because, like I say, you can get three from a sheet of paper, which makes that means that these are great fade boxes. You know, if you're do, if you've got a wedding or something like that, um, or you know, I don't know, a birthday party or something like that. If you've got one pack of designer series paper, you're getting 36 from it with no problems whatsoever. Okay, so bits to remove. <laughs> That means Sorrel has found a toy and she wants everybody to know about it. So I don't know, I think perhaps, yeah, you're going to see this side better. So I've got a long panel here and then I've got curves or score lines, then another long panel and then I've got two bits here. So on the right hand side, keep that on the right hand side and you'll see there's two squares, cut both of them away. So that's my two squares that I scored and do that on both sides. <laughs> yep, she's found a toy and she wants us all to know about it. She'll probably bring it in shortly. <laughs> she's not in season or anything like that. She has been spayed. Okay. <laughs> Poor Chris is asleep off night duty. Possibly not anymore. Okay, and so with those squares in the middle, I just <laughs> I cut into them. Okay, so this bit is how it becomes an ornate tag topper because that's two inches wide, which is what you need for this. And I'm going to slide it all the way in as far as it can go, just double check, and punch. And that is what's going to come around and catch on the front. So let's get some glue going on. I'm running tear and tape down there, and I'm also looking down the stairs at what she's got. Looking down the corridor, rather. I can't see. I think she might have got a sock. <laughs> I haven't explained the layout of my house. My office is above our garage, and it's on the middle floor of our house. Below me is the garage, and then either <laughs> side of the door into my office are my two younger boys' bedrooms and then down the far end of the corridor is our bedroom and then our other two children are on the third floor. So, the younger boys, I keep their bedroom doors open even when they're not around. I haven't put clothes on them. I just quickly put some snail on. There we go. I'm just going to run that round. So, yeah, the younger boys... I keep the bedroom doors open and they're not always as efficient at putting stuff in the laundry as perhaps they could be. Right, so I've just put those two little tabs inside and I'm going to very carefully line this up. So I'm lining, I'm gluing myself to it. This is what's known as a loose edge and in here at that score line it's the tight edge. So I want to line the two up. Oh. 
and the back there we go and then do the same over here this one if you're handy with liquid glue i am not it's a good one for liquid glue right then i'm holding this in place so you can see the how the topper is going to work so i'm going to hold that in place and grab my paper piece actually a pencil or a pen might be better Biro. And I'm going to grab a hole punch and punch a, circle, a little hole through, just like that. Take some of them. This is the new ruched ribbon in, I think it's in Daffodil Delight. Yes, it is. So this is, um, I love this. I like the fact that it's ruched. And what I'm going to do is I've folded it in half and I'm going to feed this bit through here from front to back and then just tie a knot in the end of it. <laughs> yeah, they've got lots and lots of springs all over the house. Cat springs, proper springs for, for cats to play with. And they chase them underneath all of our units in the kitchen. And then she's woken Chris up. And then um, they find one. Suddenly they go, oh, I found one. Yeah, she's woken him up. Oops. He's due up now anyway. And yeah, she finds one and she shouts about it. She says, look what I found. I'm amazing. Okay, so you can see what I've done there. So all I need to do now is tie off a little square knot. You could put a bow if you wanted. Trim off the ends. And that's the box done. And then I like this set very much. Um, not just for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go from my heart to yours. Because you know what? I like it this to my husband. What else does it say? Love you lots. It says roses are red, violets are blue. There's also being friends is better than eating candy. But let's eat that too. And the one I put on here was so lucky to have a friend like you. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to find, there's a small bit of Whisper White. I'm looking for my Daffodil Delight that's here. And I'm going to take it right down as close to the bottom as I can. And I'm going to use my mini trimmer. You can only get the mini trimmer if you join, so hashtag join. <laughs> and I'm going to trim it off to three centimeters because that's what I can see which is I don't know what that is in inches that in inches is oh, one and a quarter and I'm going to trim it off again to Three inches. And then you need a scrap of black. And I'm going to make this three and a half by three and a half. Lovely a little trimmer. I love the little trimmer because you don't have to measure everything. It's okay to not have to measure everything. Um, and you might want to use a different stamp set to me. Okay, so that on there. And then from the last project, I showed you the bees that are in the um, Botanical Prints product medley, and I love them. So I left them out when I was making this project, and I thought, I know, I will use them again. So from my heart to yours just on there. Super cute little scallop tag topper punch. Scalloped tag topper punch box. There we go. Love it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.